Hello everyone, this is Surya and this is a short tutorial on the image processing toolbox of MATLAB. This will help you start working with MATLAB's image processing toolbox. Okay. You use im read function uh, to read images just like this. And you use im show function to display them. So this is the image which with which we'll be working today okay yeah there's actually one more function which you can use to view which is im tool this also displays the pixel info at the bottom of the top of window you get the rgb values and the pixel coordinate of where your cursor is okay next i'll show you one function im crop of a comma you need to enter x1 y1 next to y2 and 100 100 300 300 this will crop the image for you as you can see now so you got the cropped image so uh, another function is i am resize i am resize of a comma you need to put the scale here. Let's take 0.5. Let's see. And you can see uh, the picture has been scaled down. Then next, I'll be showing you one more function, which is I am rotate, which takes the image. And the second parameter is the angle in degrees with which you would like to turn the image. Mm. Uh, the angle is measured in anti-clockwise direction. So you can see now. So the image has been rotated. If you want to display all the four uh, images A, B, C, D uh, in the same window, you can do this subplot of two by two. Okay, and then the first image is A. You can see you have A here. And then subplot of two two by two matrix second position I am sure B subplot of two by two third position is I am sure of C and subplot of two two four two by two matrix fourth position is D. So as you can see you have four images. So this is how you display multiple images at the same time. You can find further functions by going to the help menu. And you have image processing here. And this will help you get started and you have a lot of examples which you can try. Okay. Now CLC is the command which is used to clear the window. Okay. Now I'll start uh, uh, talking about one of the method which is called thresholding uh, which is used to separate a particular color from the image okay now as you can see each uh, each uh, image is made up of three dimensions the length, the width, and the third dimension. Uh, the length, the width, and RGB values, which uh, which is the third dimension. So uh, you can look at the second. Uh, okay, we'll be working with this image now. You can look at uh, the red component of the image by doing this. You can see this part is bright this part is more white it has more pixel value that is because this has more red and you can do this now this doesn't have blue so that is black and these parts were blue so they have become white now so r g r and this is the third dimension okay now let us uh, start working with this. Uh, let us take red equal to A is to, is to 1 and blue equal to A of 2 and G equal to 1. 
equal to is two is two three. Yeah, this should be fine. Okay. Now uh, I'll tell you about a new function. Matrix equal to I am pixel of a. So what this does is it opens a pop-up window and you can actually select points on this image uh, and whichever point you select is uh, those uh, pixel values, the RGB values at that particular pixel are stored in your matrix variable. So I'll try to filter this heart shape out. So I'll just be selecting this and you can end up by double pressing a point. And yeah, so you can see here that I have the matrix variable here, and these are the values of uh, uh, each pixel. So if I want to uh, separate out this color, I'll do this. So equal to red is in the range. It's uh, it's more in the range 147 okay red is always greater than 147 and blue is less than 10 and green okay uh, just a second and green is also less than 10 now you can see this image by that the object has been filtered out. Now you can see this problem here that some pixels are not covered. So this is actually a hole in your pixel which is very common for images which uh, generally occur due to the non-constant illumination. So how you solve, is, uh, solve this is using a function which is called I am fill and you use it this way okay. you can see that the holes have been reduced here and uh, but still you can see there are still problems with this you, uh, the corners are not so neat so what you can do is DW morph of y2 comma I'll dilate this uh, I'll dilate this seven times so I am sure of by so you can see this is a bit cleaner now so this is how dilation works there's another function called erode And you can see it, uh, it reduces the number of five pixels. Okay, now oh, yeah. uh, let us go into uh, something. Uh, if you now uh, in an image, you can highlight some particular positions, but how do you get the properties of all these regions? That's using the function. A region props here. Yeah. Region props of by three comma. Okay, just this. Yeah. Okay, this uh, gives you a variable which gives the area of your image, centroid of your image, and the bounding box of the image. So you have lot more functions which uh, you can get here in the help menu. So these are just the basics. Thanks.